Much appreciated. Thanks for bringing up the tattoo again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shitting myself, I'm not going to lie. Hey! Hey! Um, well, first things first, obviously a massive thank you to absolutely everyone here. Honestly, when we had that photo outside up the stairs, it was just brilliant to see so many uh, friendly faces and see all you really here. Everyone, everyone always says to you, like, oh, your wedding day, you know, it's the only time you love all your friends, family, and all the people you care about in one room. And it's so, so true, like, just to look at everyone. So give yourselves a cheer. Come on. Hey! Um, I'm told I need to keep it simple and keep it down to 10 minutes, so I've whittled it down from about 45. Um, <laughs> I'll let the best man go in a minute, which is all you want to hear. So, um, first thank yous to Michelle's parents, William, Caroline, Audrey, um, mainly for allowing an Englishman into the family more than anything. Um, <laughs> sure, the alarm bells are ringing out. Um, luckily, William was still in the police force when we still got together, so a couple of little taps on the old computer, and he could see that I was pretty sound. <laughs> Never been caught. Cool. <laughs> honestly, honestly, the three of you, you've been so kind to me ever since I've started coming up here. And you, yeah, you've just been absolutely amazing. You brought up the best daughter in the world. She's absolutely amazing. I love her so much. And it's credit to you, Chloe, so thank you very much. I mean that for the entire family, actually, honestly. You've all been absolutely brilliant. Aunties, uncles, cousins, brothers, you've just been brilliant. Like, you know, since my first trip, been superb, so thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, talking back to the first trip, I must, must quickly mention Ross and Darren. Um, I won't go into too much detail. I once had to leg it out of the back of a house when two older brothers came back unexpectedly, so uh, I was a bit wary of meeting two older brothers. Um, and, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Genuinely, you guys have been absolutely brilliant since day one, and I really mean it. I, I, I feel like I've gained a couple of actual genuine brothers. You're, you're such a nice couple of guys. I think the world of you both. Thank you very much. 10 out of 10, all, I know you had your part to play in bringing Michelle up as well. Um, she's got an amazing tolerance of drunkenness, uh, <laughs> rowdy mates, <laughs> and, um, and she lets me sit around all day on a Sunday watching golf and football. So I know, I know that's your influence, thank you. Um, on to my parents, uh, as we can all see, biggest top table in the world. Um, I'm lucky enough to not only have two parents, I've got two amazing step parents as well. And, Love all four of them to bits. <laughs> like, yeah, go on, give it. Um, I can think of plenty of times over the years when you've all been tearing your hair out with me. Literally, with my dad. <laughs> as we've heard, so. um, but no, all four of you have got amazing qualities, and I, I like to think I've had a little bit of all of those, uh, you know, laid on to me. So, Paul, my stepdad over here, the most laid back bloke you'll ever, ever meet. Literally the most laid back. I've not, I've not picked up any of your DIY skills. I still don't know one end of a screwdriver from another. But um, Suzanne, my stepmom, an amazing sense of fun and humour. She's absolutely brilliant. When I was about eight years old, she dared me a fiver to eat an entire tub of Nutella with an entire loaf of bread. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I've been brilliant at eating ever since. So it was, it was great. Um, my mum over here, one of the, the kindest, most generous people I know. Um, about four weeks ago, uh, it was her birthday. It was the day after we got back from Magaluf, so I was shivering, sweating, stinging, um, lying on the sofa, and she said, oh, do you want to go out for lunch? It's my birthday, and I was like, mum, I'm not going to lie, I feel horrific. She drove 20 miles with a roast dinner just to come and sit with me and make sure I was all right. <laughs> She, she also once drove me all the way to Leeds just so I could watch Reading playing a Coca-Cola Cup game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, unreal. And my dad, GD, the main man, the great man, as Dan calls him. Um, some of you might not know, I, I, me and my dad worked together for 11 years. We used to sit in a little office and we sat bang opposite each other on this little, little desk. And uh, to, things did get heated from time to time. Who's the best James Bond? <laughs> <laughs> Roger Moore, obviously. <laughs> Is John Oster better than Glenn Little? We've all been there. No! John Oster, we all know that. Um, my dad's my absolute hero. I love him to bits, honestly. Uh, so many people say to me, oh, you're just like your dad, you're just like your dad you are. Um, and it always makes me so proud. I, I honestly, I really feel that. As long as I don't inherit the hairline, I'll be absolutely delighted. <laughs> 
He's living off three games of golf, two bottles of wine a day, and barbecues every single day in Australia. So if I can, if I can have a bit of that when I'm older, I'll be over the moon. Um, all joking aside, though, thanks all four of you. You've welcomed Michelle into the family. Um, I know that's easy. She's she's just she's ruddy amazing. She's the easiest person to get on with ever. Um, but thank you, honestly. You've all been great. You've all been so kind to her. Um, so let's have a toast. I'm parched. Let's have one. Can we raise a glass to the parents, please? All, all them parents. <laughs> Loads of them. To the parents. Right, right. You can sit down now. It's cool. Right, a quick mention. Um, I'm going to just have a quick mention of Flower Girls and the Page Boy. You're, oh, I'm sure you've got. Um, you really don't care what I've got to say, but. Um, <laughs> Shona, uh, Hannah, Daniel, you're brilliant kids. We love you to bits. We're so proud that you're part of the day today. So thank you to the three of you guys. Daniel's been absolutely brilliantly behaved to be fair. And he looks awesome in that little mini kill. It's brilliant. On to the bridesmaids, the four bridesmaids. Three of the loveliest girls you could ever meet. And my sister. Yay! I'm joking, I'm joking, obviously. Um, well, firstly, for helping with the, the hen do, like, Michelle came back. It was tots and knees. <laughs> All I heard about for a week was Magaluf this and pool parties that and kiss tree that. And, uh, <laughs> um, but more importantly, uh, we just want to thank all for you. We love all for you to be. It's your brilliant sisters, your brilliant friends. Um, and again, like the other guys, we're so proud to have you part of our day. Can everyone again, let's have another drink. Raise a glass to the bridesmaids, please. To the bridesmaids. Um, <laughs> I'd also like to give a little special thanks now, actually, talking on bridesmaids, to my sister Jen and my brother-in-law Dan. Um, the two of them have helped us so, so much with this wedding. Michelle and I aren't really the most creative people, it has to be said, but um, luckily Jen set up a little wedding planner WhatsApp group, so we can uh, discuss little ideas. Um, and yeah, they've, they've helped so much. Dan, uh, all the artwork you can see, it's all the, the order of service and all your name badges and all that sort of stuff. Dan did all of that. Um, he's had a million and one things on his plate lately. He's been looking up tattoo removal, <laughs> filing insurance forms for missing phones. Um, he still found the time to do all this amazing artwork. Everything you see today is down to him. Daddy um, boy. My sister, bless her, uh, she'll hate, for, hate me for saying this, I love her to bits. She's so funny. She's nearly as funny as Michelle and Ben Cashley. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's been rushing around today, she's been doing everyone's hair. I know she's done a few people in the room, she's done their hair in the last week or so. Um, we love you guys to bits. Thanks so much for your help today. It would have been the same without you guys. Cheers. <laughs> You don't usually give a mention for the ushers, but it obviously hasn't gone unnoticed. There's bloody loads of them. They're everywhere. Um, it, it could, that, that group could have actually been quite a bit bigger. Michelle put a cap on it eventually. She's like, right, you cannot have any more. This is getting ridiculous. Um, and I could stand here all night telling you um, stories about every one of them, but we have got a few women and children present, so probably <laughs> that too. Um, but take my word for it, they're absolutely brilliant, honestly. They're a brilliant bunch of lads. They've done so much for me over the years. Um, more than anything, you're green to wear kilts. I've taken so much abuse over the last few weeks for this. You would not believe it. They all look green, so like, give the ushers a cheer. Give them another cheer. Um, I've got you all a gift, but it'll just take forever. So um, just meet me at the bar and we'll call it a pint. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the two best men, my two best mates, what can I say? Best man, Ben. Craig over here. Um, I'll start with Craig. Craig and I first met um, when we were 11, when we went to secondary school. Um, the coolest bloke ever. There's a few lads here we went to school with, they'll remember. Um, and he was into the coolest music and he was good at football and he was a bit of a stand up comedian on the minibus to like rugby matches and stuff. He had an amazing set of blonde curtains, which we can probably remember. Um, we became friends pretty quickly, uh, got on really well through school. We formed our own DJ duo. Uh, in our teens. Uh, it was the late 90s. It also included a full Monty strip section. Yeah. Uh, which is a bit weird looking back, but you know, we were covered, unlike Magaluf. You know. um, he's still one of the funniest blokes I know. We, we, we get together every so often, and uh, I'll go up to London or Craig come down here, and it, it always gets absolutely out of hand, which is just the way I want it. He's a great mate. To Craig. Wow, Craig. Best man, Ben. Let's have a cheer for this Ben. Ben's my 
my oldest friend. I've, I've known him since the day I was, literally since the day I was born, I've known Ben. I live next door to him, more or less. Um, anyone who follows him on Instagram has seen all the pictures that prove that. Like, we've all seen those little baby photos of me, thanks for that. Um, he's only four foot tall, so go easy on him. <laughs> but I've always, always looked up to Ben so much. I can remember my first ever day at primary school. Um, ben had already started, and I was so excited. I was only like four or five, and I was so excited because Ben was there, and I'd get to play play games and <laughs> toys with him and stuff. And I can still remember, Dang. honestly. Um, he's always looked out for me. He's always done so much for me. Genuinely, he's got a lovely wife Becky, who's here. He's got a lovely daughter Ellie. Um, yeah, give him a hand. <laughs> Poor girl's heavily pregnant, and he's been dragging around Glasgow for the last couple of days. Even to this day, he even he, this is how much he does for me, right? The other day, he actually got his company to start renting his vans from me and so, not someone else. What can you say? Yeah. He's in great habits! <laughs> oh. And he's getting ripped off. <laughs> even more unbelievable than that was the stag dude. It was absolutely amazing. 36 blokes, a, a, a bunch of head cases, hooligans and nutters. Um, how he ever pulled it together, every single travel agent uh, just did what did not want to know when he went in there. But he pulled it all together, he got us all there, had a brilliant weekend from the little bits I can remember. Um, it was great, what can I say? I'm truly thankful, you're one of the best guys ever, you're a brilliant mate, to Ben. Now the main event, the headliner, the jock. My wife. This, this part of the, you know, I've been on a million, we've all been there, guys who are married, I've been on a million websites looking at what you should say and what you shouldn't and all that sort of stuff. Um, this part of the speech is usually reserved for giving a little bit of a story about how we met and all this sort of thing, but the humanist nicked all of that earlier, <laughs> so that was good of him. Um, what he didn't actually say, and this is 100% true, I, I used to have a boss, he looked like George Dawes, it was brilliant. We used to stand there and he'd say, yeah, she's all right, yeah, she's not bad. And every time Michelle walked out, I was going, she is so fit, I love her. Um, <laughs> Genuinely, genuinely true. I used to say all the time, that little Spanish bird, I think she's Spanish. <laughs> she's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> we've, we've all, we have always got on brilliantly, and uh, he touched on it earlier in the ceremony. Our first date, it absolutely flew by. Um, we were the last people in the pub there to kick us out in the end, and then we sat in the car talking for about another hour and a half. Um, and like he said, we started dating and, you know, we've just both been really comfortable with each other since day one. The first time Michelle stayed over, she woke me up in the morning with the biggest oh fart God. I've ever heard. Yes! <laughs> Start as you mean to go on. <laughs> we've always had a great, honestly, we've always had a great time together. It was pretty obvious to me from fairly early that Michelle was absolutely the one. She's just brilliant. Um, which obviously as time goes on, you're like, proposal, it's gonna happen. So, the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever, ever done was phoning William up and asking for his hand in marriage. Whoops. He touched on it earlier, I, did, I, I tried collar it, we were up at Christmas and I kept trying to get five minutes with him just to say, William, you know, this, that and all the rest of it. I just couldn't do it. So anyway, I phoned him up one night and uh, we were chatting away um, and he was talking about, you know, Darren's this and Ross and that and Audrey and blah, blah, blah and all the family. Um, 40 minutes later, I was pacing up and down the house, up the stairs, down the stairs, Michelle was away with work. And eventually he was like, anyway mate, I've got to go. I was like, I'm I would just phone for a chat. I, 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 I do love you to bits, but I'm not phoning for a chat. I asked for his hand, and obviously we're here today. He said yes. I was, you know, go for it, son. I was absolutely over the moon. So, genuinely over the moon. I was so Second most nerve-wracking thing of all time was the actual proposal. So, again, the human is nicked off for that. So, just take those bits out. Um, again, I was, I was an absolute nervous wreck. Michelle reckons I was all right. I was talking politics, so she was falling asleep. And the rest of it. Um, evening was kind of getting on, and you know, we'd had, we'd had dinner, and we'd had pudding, and all the rest of it. And I was thinking, right, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. And I was just so nervous. Really, really nervous. I was shaking. And um, I was just getting ready to get down on one knee. And she said, I'm really into poo, can we go? <laughs> So I had to hurry it along a bit. <laughs> Which is why she said never said yes, because she cried and screamed and waved her arms about a bit. And, you know, she gave me a cuddle, so I've guessed that. 
It's all right, it's all right. I was so excited, honestly. The only time I've ever been as excited as that was when Paul Gascoigne flicked the ball over Colin Entry's head. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't resist that one, man. I had to shoe on it in somewhere. Um, and anyway, we're here today. What can I say? She is the most beautiful, amazing person in the entire universe. And I actually genuinely struggled to write this bit. The others, you know, I'm a natural born comedian, so the rest of it was fine. But that, that bit was really difficult. I, I just, I, I, and it's not because I haven't got anything to say, it's just there's too much. I'll be here even longer. I'm already overrun. Um, but what can I say? I just want to thank, thank you for agreeing to marry me. Uh, I've said a lot of it earlier. Um, I don't want to bore these guys, but you are amazing. You're beautiful. You are funny. Sometimes funnier than cash. Not often, but sometimes. I just love you to bits. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I think you're amazing. Thank you so much for agreeing to marry me. So on that note, right, one final toast, literally the most important toast I'm ever going to make in my life. Get on your feet, to my wife, Michelle. Michelle. Right, I've banged on long enough. We all want to hear what they, these two idiots have got to say. Come on, let's get on with it. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you all for coming today. Love every single person in this room. Thank you so much. Cheers.